what is going on? The last 24 hours have been absolutely insane. And especially for the print on demand community, because yes, the rumors are true. Printify and Printful are merging. What? Okay, when I heard this news, I actually was a little bit shook, a little bit scared. I was feeling a lot of different things, as I'm sure you are too as a seller. And so I really wanted to get this video up quick because I wanted to share with you everything that I know thus far, which is really not much, but it is enough to hopefully settle any stress that you may be having. And also my opinions, because this affects me just as much as it affects you, as we are all sellers that sell using either Printify or Printful. And there are a little bit of concerning things that came to my mind. And so I really want to talk about that. And I want to just preface by saying that as scary as this may feel, after I've done a bit of research, I really do think that this could be a good thing. And so I'm gonna share with you my points as of why I feel that, and we're just gonna get right into all of it. So if you know me or don't know me, hi, I'm Mac, and I have been a print-on-demand seller for almost five years now, and I have always used Printify. There was a time where I used Printful way back in the day, but Printify has just always been a better option in my opinion. And so when I saw this, I was a little bit shook. I really was like, I kind of was like, why Printify? Like, why are you doing this? But it really does make sense. So if you're not familiar, Printify and Printful are both print on demand platforms, but they do operate in quite different ways. So Printify actually works with 85 plus print on demand suppliers that are all over the world. And they are actually operating and creating their products for and working with Printify. Whereas Printful has their own Printful warehouses that are located across the world as well, where they make their products in the warehouses. So they operate differently, but they still produce high quality and sell unique products. And so by bringing the two together, we have the opportunity to reach more of a broader audience. Printful actually, with having their own different warehouses is they have a lot that are in Europe and other parts of the world that Printify maybe does not have that big of access to. And so by bringing that together, it's just broadening the audience that you can sell to and being able to really, really quicken those shipping times because we're gonna be having a more surface area of print providers available to us. So that is the first huge plus that I love. I personally really don't sell too much outside of the country. I prefer to sell into the US. That's where I mainly sell because that's where I'm located. But I think with this merge, it's going to really make me want to look more into other markets because things will be able to be fulfilled quicker. I know the quality is going to be there and that's exciting to me as a seller. It really is. And along with that of, you know, maybe our broadened reach to the audiences that we can sell to, we have to look at the product catalogs as well. So as of now, Printify offers more products than Printful does, but Printful has some pretty unique, especially with their printing processes. So with Printful, they offer embroidery on lots of different products and one in specific that a lot of sellers that were using Printify were going to Printful for was the embroidered sweatshirts because Printify does now do embroidered sweatshirts, but they have a limitation to where that embroidery is. And Printful actually offers a larger print for the embroidery. And so that's just one example, but it's just going to be showing us how we're going to have more access to those things that Printful has that now Printify will also have and vice versa. Because Printify has such a widely and unique catalog, now how cool would it be if we can use those different printing techniques that Printful has on these super unique Printify products? So it's kind of like merging two awesome things together to create more of an opportunity and a wider range of products and ways of printing that we can offer to our audiences. With those things being said, something that I really want to address and that has seems to be very stressful in the community right now. And it's a thought that I had too, and that is about pricing. Wh where do we go from there? Because Printify has really great pricing and their quality is good. And so a lot of you have been saying, well, now it's gonna eliminate that competitive pricing that made me use Printify. And now all the pricings are gonna just be raised. But in reality, if we think about this logically, 
print-on-demand companies only make money as we make money. They're not just printing products and fronting them to us, they're printing the products as we get orders. So if we stop getting orders, they stop getting sales and they stop making money. So it would really not make sense for them to raise their prices and not be a competitive pricing in the market because what would we do as sellers? We would just go to a different print provider that's not printful and not printify. And there are some good pricing around. So it's like, they're not going to do that in my opinion. I don't see why that would be logical for them. I also want to say like with the competitive pricing between printify and printful, if you really do look at their price comparison sheets, it's not that much of a difference. Not meaning like, obviously we don't wanna pay more, but it's not that big of a difference. So I really don't think that that's a huge thing that we need to be worried about as sellers, because I don't see why that would make sense, especially with dropping a ball like this of like, hey, we're merging. I don't think the first thing they're gonna do or do it all is, you know, just skyrocket the, the prices. I really think that profit is important to them to give to their merchants so that they can keep us. They can keep us to come back and make more sales. So if that's something that you're really stressing about, I hope that that can kind of help you understand like where I have it at in my mind and why I'm not too concerned about that because it just makes sense from a business perspective. And if they wanna be, you know, this amazing company that people go to, I don't see why they would do that. But Hopefully in the future, we can get a little bit more clarity on where things are going to go. This is a very new announcement. And as Printify and Printful have said, as time goes on, they're going to share more and more with us when things are more finalized, but they are going to remain as separate you know, businesses. So Printify will still run as exactly as it has been now and Printful will run as it has been now with that company being running both behind the scenes. And so I think it's really interesting. I think that we need to get excited. I think that we need to be optimistic about it all because both of these brands want to still be great brands for their customers, for their merchants. And I think that that's something that we should not overlook because while this can be scary and change is scary, we're all in this together. And that's why I really would encourage you to leave a comment on this video. Let me know how you're feeling. I, I wanna know, I really do. I, I feel I'm in a position where I have the reach to speak to many of you about this and I'm feeling all of the same ways that you probably are when you saw the news. And you know, at the end of the day, like we all are human, we're all sellers. And so I think that we can create a space where we can all discuss this and and talk about how we feel it will affect us. So let me know how you're feeling about this. I hope this video can give you some clarity on how I'm feeling. Maybe um, put some of the stuff at ease. If you have any questions, leave them below because I'd love to see if maybe I have an answer to them. So definitely do that. And thank you so much for watching. I wish you nothing in the best of your business and I will see you in the next video.